Today, human microbiota, intestinal microbiota, is under a very uh, intense uh, research. By microbiota, we mean all microbes that are inhabiting our intestinal tract. That means there are bacteria, viruses, and uh, eukaryotic organisms. Antibiotic uh, courses can disturb this microbiota quite drastically. And you can develop uh, antibiotic-associated diarrhea. The worst uh, case of antibiotic-associated diarrhea is uh, an infection caused by a pathogen, a Clostridium difficile. And uh, patients can uh, suffer from this infection for um, uh, several episodes if it cannot be treated by another course of antibiotics. And if a patient enters this kind of vicious cycle, it can go on for a month and even a year. And a kind of salvage therapy for this kind of infection is then fecal microbiota transplantation. Fecal microbiota transplantation is a therapy where fecal material is transformed from a healthy person uh, who has been very well tested uh, to the patient, and that restores a healthy microbiota. In our research, we have followed patients with Clostridium difficile infection and looked at their microbiota before fecal microbiota transplantation and during one year after the treatment. And we obtained from the patients several samples during that year and analyzed them together with the healthy donor samples. What we observed is that the microbiota the recipients had, that is the patients, after this therapy is highly similar to that of their donors. And moreover, the microbiota was very stable during the one year follow-up. And even if the patients got antibiotics for, for example, for respiratory tract infection or urinary tract infection, the microbiota now stayed uh, stable. Further, what was our interest to look at is uh, the bacteria in the donor's fecal material that are effective against Clostridium difficile. And uh, we used so-called universal donor approach. That means that one donor gave a transplant to several patients. And this uh, enabled us a more precise microbiota analysis and the definition of uh, therapeutic bacteria that are likely to be uh, behind the great efficacy of uh, fecal microbiota transplantation. Actually, this treatment is so effective that more than 90% of patients with recurrent Clostridium difficile infection get cured with this therapy. But so, um, we looked at the therapeutic bacteria and were able to define a so-called therapeutic core of bacteria, which consisted of more than 20 bacterial taxa. Our next goal is, of course, to isolate these bacteria in order to make a bacterial cocktail that could be used instead of fecal material to cure patients with the infection. Mm -hmm.